Welcome to my introduction to fundamentals of electrochemistry. I will first give you a brief overview of all the lectures to be presented in this series. As a note, all the content refers mainly to the graduate textbook Understanding Voltammetry, third edition, authored by Richard G. Compton and Craig E. Banks, and also partially to Bard and Faulkner's book Electrochemical Methods, Fundamentals and Applications. Second edition, and I welcome questions and discussions about the points in this series of lectures. Well, the focus of fundamental electrochemistry is the interfacial electron transfer between a substance of interest and an electrode. So all the lectures we are going to go through together discuss essential aspects of and related to this central step. Referring to a generic scenario showing the right figure. At an electrode solution interface, we have a redox active molecule in its oxidized form, denoted as O, gains one electron from the electrode, producing reduced form of the molecule R. Simultaneously, the reverse process also happens. So the electron exchange between the molecule and the electrode is the central step we will be most interested in in the following lectures. Well, apparently the first question is why there is electron transfer, whether the system is in equilibrium, or to which direction the electrons would be transferred. These questions would be nicely answered by the first lecture, electrochemical thermodynamics. And second, we want to know where is the site of electron transfer. From an electrochemical point of view, we need to know the microscopic structure. Of the electrode solution interface, especially in terms of the solution size, and we will have a good idea of it from the second lecture, electrode double layer. Third, it's crucial to know how fast is the electron transfer, and we commonly use current to quantify the rate of electron transfer. More importantly, we want to know its dependence on the electrode potential supplied, and then it's important to know. How to practically measure the rate of electron transfer? We often use the electrochemical cell to measure the current through the working electrode. But unfortunately, the current predicted from theory of only the central step, the interfacial electron transfer, is not always accurate and enough for understanding the current measured in a real experiment. So it's important to have an overview of all the electrode processes, to at least have a picture of other related processes, and from that we'll be aware of the importance of the rate determining step in order to better understand the current we really measured from a working electrode. Next, as a result of electron transfer, there must be materials of interest consumed during the reaction. And in many cases, there is mass transport from the bulk solution towards the electrode solution interface to supply the materials of interest. And apparently, the materials produced from the electrode reaction may leave the interface. So it's crucial to learn about this process of material supply. And importantly, the rate of mass transport. Last, with the knowledge of the essential elementary processes above, we can approach the basics of some classic methodology to show its potential to study a system electrochemically. More precisely, in the last lecture, we will learn about voltammetry theories measuring the current at pre-controlled electrode potentials to extract chemical or physical insights into the materials of interest themselves.